Hi, I am Dr. Yukti Vadhavan, Infertility Specialist at Laurigen IVF. Today we will discuss about endometriosis. Endometriosis means presence of endometrial tissue at other sites other than uterus. It usually affects the women of reproductive age groups, about 25 to 35 years of age, and it is believed to be an estrogen dependent disorder. About 5 to 10 percent of women in reproductive age group are affected by this, but it is also seen in adolescents and postmenopausal women. So, what are the common signs and symptoms? Dysmenorrhea is a very common symptom found to be in about 40 to 60 percent of women. Next is dyspareunia, pelvic pain, which is the most common. So, about 75 percent of women complain of pelvic pain. Then comes subfertility or infertility. These symptoms are so profound and debilitating that this hampers the quality of life of women in many ways. So coming to the diagnosis, when a patient comes to the OPD with an endometriotic cyst, the most common test the gynecologists get done is a CA125, which isn't much contributory. The diagnosis can be made with an ultrasound or an MRI scan or a CT scan. And the gold standard in diagnosis remains a laparoscopy. First, to see, to locate the lesions, where all are these endometriotic lesions, the chocolate brown colored lesions situated, and what all anatomical distortion has this done to the body. Coming to the management part of it, surgery is the most common choice and especially with endometriotic cysts, which are more than four to five centimeters, surgery is the choice of treatment. But recurrence rate is very high. The other treatments which are popular are the NSAIDs, which is a supportive therapy, OC pills, Danazol, progestins, and GNRH agonists. Thank you.